what did you know I'm doing that? Never stop, never stop, always an attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Put it on my back, add it to my bag, and I got plenty more where that came from. But my price is right, I never change, bro. I don't get it. So I'm gonna tell them right, and that's every day, that's dumb life. You've reached Stephen's voicemail, leave a message, and you'll be blessed. Ooh, ooh. No, I had to do it on a Friday. Open road, where to go? That's a highway. Free to flow, easy rhymes at my mind race. Hoping that one day I don't need an introduction. I got too much on my mind that I'd rather be discussing. I be thinking existential, I got limitless potential. Now I'm looking in that mirror like that motherfucker bluffing. I don't trust him, I be second guessing every thought I'm having. And again, just a minute. Yo, way above that average. what's good? It's Friday. <laughs> Filet, yeah. Waking up. Waking up, everyone. Yo, good morning. Uh, that's a little new bars I just made yesterday. That's a new beat I found. I want to do a rap to that one. Uh, I don't even know if that's going to be the lines, but I made it for today, kind of. Real quick, I love making music. I love making music for the intros. If I had more time, I would do it every single day if I, can, if I could, if I could make my mind do that. That's tough to do. Um, that's actually a funny beat. It's called Eastern Road Flows because I was in the mood for the Drake rhymes and um, what's it called? It uh, it doesn't uh, it's like a, a remake, so I don't get copyrighted because every time I try to do beats that I like, they get copyrighted. So I'm trying to come up with beats that I don't get copyrighted. Anyway, what's good? Welcome to friggin' like Daily, baby. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the name. I'm gonna change the name. That's how we do it. We keep it. We keep it moving. I'm too ever changing. That's kind of what those lines said. Anyway. Two songs in the works. Life is so fragile and this one. Will I finish either of them? I don't know. It's really hard to stay on track, but I love making music and I don't know why I'm going off on that right now. But it's in my mind. I get in these waves, as you see. Sometimes I'm in the mood to make videos. Sometimes I'm in the mood to make music. I have a lot of like ideas and expression I want to do. That's why this podcast is so great for me. What's up? Have a great morning already. It's Friday. That's what I was talking about. Nowhere to go. We got time. I'm thinking existential. What I said is I'm always thinking like, oh, I can do anything because you got to believe in yourself. But then I'm like, I don't even believe myself when I say that. So it's like, that's kind of what I meant. The bars always have way more meaning than you think they do. Well, maybe. I don't know if people are listening or even actually the words. Am I talking fast? Is it my coffee? Yes. It's Friday. Let's go. Um, big news for tomorrow. Um, I have an event, a YouTube event, like my first YouTube event where I'm going to meet other YouTubers. It's not like a YouTube sponsored event, but there's a bunch of YouTubers meeting up. And it's like a speaking event. I'm really excited. I got invited to it. Um, so I'll, I'll keep you informed how that goes. It's early tomorrow morning. So I don't know about the podcast. Most likely I'll get it done, but it probably will be super quick. So I just wanted to keep that up. And yeah, so I'm really pumped about that. I'll let you know how that goes. Open mic. Um, this is just like a recap of my life. It got canceled Wednesday, as you know, but I got messages for this upcoming Wednesday that it's on. So it's like I finally got confirmed. So Wednesday, the latest, but I might try to do one this weekend. But I'm trying to get my first one out of the way. Let's go. And uh, so it's definitely confirmed for, for Wednesday. I'm really pumped about that. I'm going to make it even better and better and better and just have fun with it. I'm so excited. And I hope you guys have fun with it too. Um, speaking of music, there's this Drake line. Oh, real, real quick. I'm going to make that part two video of 40 to 42.5. So the first one, 30 to 40, took me a couple years. And then 40 to 42.5, more years. And I'm not saying additional years. I'm saying more years than the first 10 inches did because you can max out your peak performance. And then there was all this like mental blockages of like, I don't need strength training because I want to prove these people wrong. Yeah, I don't need strength training. But I didn't know then that like I'm just maxing out my muscles. I thought if you just do something over and over again, you get better at it because I'm good at going hard. Just like if you're like, it's not like, uh, I wonder if it's like writing, like writing music is like the more you practice, the better you get, the more you get better at painting, the better you get, you know, but like with, with literal jumping, your, your muscles just can't produce enough force. You need to get them, you need them to get stronger. So I wanted to go against that. So that was a dumb mistake, but I'm going to make that video as soon as possible. So my point is get ready for it. And what you want to do is you're going to want to hit that notification bell. And today what's crazy is YouTube gave me this sick feature only today, if you hit that notification bell, oh my God, what, I can't believe they gave me this. When you, when you press it, you'll be like, damn, I feel good today. And you'll be like, I hit that bell. Oh, you like you hear a ring in your head, right? Like, sing. like you don't even know where it came from. You're going to look around like, what the, and then you walk and you have like a limp. You're going to walk with a limp, but like a good limp. You're going to be like, I feel good today. You know, like one of those good limps. Where you're just like, it's like a swag limp, you know? So that's if you hit the bell. I, I know, I know. It sounds nuts, but try it. And then send me videos of you limping because of the bell. <laughs> if, someone, if someone tags me in their story on Instagram or something, and they're like, I pressed the notification. 
<laughs> Press the notification bell. Now I'm limping everywhere. I fucking suck. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Anyway, I'm just kidding. And if you're already subscribed, I already love you. And you're the best. Um, I was going to say music, and then I'll talk about my shirt real quick. So Drake line. There's this line in a song. You know, at the beginning of songs, he raps, and then sometimes at the, sen- so- at the end of the song, it kind of gets extra sentimental. He like switches the beat and just goes into bars. Like, they don't even know me, but they, they talk like they do. I talk to them, but they do what I do. And now they want to be me when I used to be them, but them never be me when I used to know them. Stuff like that. They say like, yo, listen up, I'm feeling down, but that means I'm on my way up and you looking down, but I'm looking down at you while your head is down to the ground, flat surface, the earth is round, (laughs) shit like that. There's a line that I can't remember he said, I'm pretty sure it's from like around the time of what a time to be alive. No, no, no. If you're reading this, it's too late and views. And it's a line, he says something like, they can't, I can't remember my own memories and they're pay, I'm paying me for my something. I can't remember it. It's not penny for my thoughts, something like that. And I can't find it for the life of me. It's going to haunt me forever. From, so I'm using the power of you guys to find it. And I'm also building another compound experience. You guys know I love that. If I find it, it's going to be amazing. Like if I find that line, it's, it cracks me up. It's also like, because I remember snapping it when I was like in college. I would snap and be like, Drake's spitting. And then all of a sudden I'd be like, what, what is he saying? Like as a joke. Like, I'd be snapping, like, oh, he's going off. And then all of a sudden, he'd say this line that's, like, so confusing. It's like, I used to remember what I forgot until I remembered I didn't remember it. Shit like that. <laughs> Shit like that. And I love it. So I want to find that. Anyway, other than that, what else I got? So super pumped for the event tomorrow. Most likely, we'll get a podcast up super early. If not, bro, it should hold you over till Sunday. This is enough energy for Sunday. We got a wrap today. We got a new bars today. A whole new thing, man. We're doing it. And now I'm wearing my shirt, Totus Training, dude. My dude, Igor, he's right over there, actually, sleeping. <laughs> you could yell something. <laughs> my man. So, yeah, he has to deal with this. This is how he wakes up. He didn't want to wake up early, but, yo, I got to do what I got to do. But he's the man. Anyway, we had a great conversation yesterday I wanted to bring up. He's from Brazil. Met him at Dunk Camp. We've known each other for a while now. And it's so awesome because it was he came from Brazil to America by himself didn't even speak the language, and that's very eye-opening. And you could tell when you meet somebody that they've had experiences like that because of how they treat other people. And that's why I always say you got to go do things, you got to experience life because it makes you a much better person. I'm not saying that it just makes you a better person when you do it, but you have such an appreciation for even just talking to people that speak your language. So just think about, because I went to Colombia, I'm a world-traveling man, okay? I'm a world-traveling man, I go everywhere, no. But I've been places where I don't speak the language, and it's hard to speak the language. So the fact that he speaks English very well is incredible to me. And the fact that he's here alone, again, just travel to explore more of America is inspiring. And so you guys should try that. Get out of your comfort zone, and it shows you a lot. And then also when when you do that, and you meet somebody, and you go to a place where you don't even speak the language. I was talking about this when I was in Colombia. It's like, you don't even speak the language. I, I like to talk. I like to talk, so it's especially hard for me. So when you go somewhere and you can't even express yourself, when you come back and you meet somebody that doesn't speak your language, or they don't speak English where you're from, you, you know not to like take what they say. You try to help them. And instead of like saying, like, oh, this person doesn't even speak English, and you think they're like, they don't know what they're doing, you have a different appreciation for people. And that's what this podcast is about, spreading the love. And that's it. That's it. That's it for today. And we're going to do on this day. And that was a great little nugget. Wow. I don't always do nuggets like that. Sometimes I just keep it silly. <laughs> but, but today, we went a little deep. All right, what's today? Today is September 6th. How did I sleep? Let's see. Real quick. How did my Fitbit say I slept? Pretty sure I slept well. It's analyzing. Okay. And it's connected to the camera, so it does not have any service. Great. Today, September, September 6th. 3,114, wait, 3,114 BC. I think this might be the earliest we've ever had. What is this going to be like fucking bones in the dirt? <laughs> Maya Mesoamerican long court calendar starts dating from as corresponds to the Julian calendar. So the start of the Mayan calendar. Huh? Oh, here we go. 1522, Ferdinand Magellan's Spanish expedition aboard the Vitoria returns to Spain without their captain, first to circ- circumnavigate the earth. Yo, a lot of happened today. 1620, the Mayflower departs Plymouth, England. What else? Damn, a lot of things happened. World War I begins. First Battle of Marne. 1916, first true supermarket, the Piggly Wiggly, is opened in, Sa- in Clarence Saunders, Memphis, Tennessee. Thank God. Piggly Wiggly, baby. 
Today in film, 1954, La Strada, directed by Federico Fellini, premieres at Venice Film Festival. Dude, I'm going to go to a film festival one of these days. I really want to go to the Sundance one in Utah. I don't know when it is, but another compound experience that when I go, I get to do my review on it, and it'll be such a fun time because you have all these things you want to do, right? You can tell. Just from one podcast, I have a million things I want to do, and I got to do them all because what are we doing here? Today in music, 1791, Mozart's opera La Clemenza de Tito premieres in Prague. 1880, sport. W.G. Gray scores 152 in debut test cricket innings. I'm getting weird at these uh, history things with the sports because I saw 152 and I knew cricket. How do I know that? I don't know. Those numbers, are, when I see like a weird number, it makes cricket because 152, when do you score that? Unless it's like a basketball game where the one team's horribly bad. I don't know what's going on. Dunk lifer of the day, baby. So stay tuned for that part two of the, you know, whatever it's called, the friggin'. Journey of me going 40 to 42.5. Uh, Dunk Life Earth the Day. Yesterday I talked about the freaking Joker, dude. I can't wait to see that, and I can't wait to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Julio Harder says, man, your TikTok stuff is actually pretty darn funny. I don't even like TikTok. Bro, it's because I'm made for it. It was made for me, I mean. Or I, I think I was made for it. Wait, recent subscriber here, Fla6TT. Flax, flat? Steven, recent subscriber here, non-dunk related question. Make a music video for your hectic intro rap song. I want to, dude. I talked about that yesterday, I think. I don't even know. That's the thing about this. I don't remember what I said. So when you leave comments and it makes me remember, I crack up because I say so much goddamn many things, so many things. And this is the morning. Imagine throughout the day how many thoughts I have. Oh my God. So by the end of the day, I forget a lot of things I say, but I remember the the big ones. So like a music video, I know I talked about that. If I have more time, I want to make sick music videos. One of these raps, I'm getting better at them, so I'm more confident in them, and I really like them, and they have a lot of meaning to them. Like, the Life is So Fragile one would be a hilarious video, plus it's a dancer one, so it makes you want to dance. I'm so excited. I'm going to try to get those done as soon as possible, but I want to make them sound good. I love music, man, and I love dancing, and I can't wait for the comedy night, and I'm super excited. Have a great effing day. What the hell else is there to say? Nothing. Am I spitting spars on my way out? Maybe, but that's what I'm about. You got to stand stout with your chest out. Damn. Are we rolling out like this? Yes, because I spit. This is my podcast. The name is going to change. Not again, Steven. God damn. It stay the same. I can't because my mind keeps going. Where is it going? It's like a river. It's flowing. But if you follow it, maybe there's fish at the end that you could eat for nutrition. Man, I stay looking at my future of wishing. (laughs) Lilo and stitching. I'm foreign. This podcast is never boring. Damn, bro, and that's it. Toodaloo. Always hoping that one day I don't need an introduction. I got too much on my mind that I'd rather be discussing. I be thinking existential, I got limitless potential. Now I'm looking in that mirror like that motherfucker.